What's good, YouTube? It's Manny here, and today we got another reaction. And this is the reaction to Lil TJ and Chick Flack calling my phone official lyric meaning verified. And that's how I'm genius. So, you know, we're just gonna, you know, react to the meaning of the song and, you know, how it came about. Because, I mean, the song's been. The song has been on Instagram like playing for like like a few a few weeks. Like before it actually got released and it's just like you, you know, some of us wanna know the meaning behind this song and stuff like that. But um yeah, so without further ado, let's get to it. I kinda like put like different names out on who should be on the song. The biggest response was Polo. And at this Ooh. time I'm just like this song already was not exactly in my lane. And it kind of went viral to a point where I didn't even all the way understand it. So I was like, nah, I need somebody that's just gonna fit this pocket and just take this lane with what they already do. And it's just set. <laughs> when I go to the studio, I know I'm wrong. I mean, don't get me wrong, black, yeah, like black was the like the perfect person, but I'm thinking actually I I don't even know how the song was sound if Polo was on it. Yeah, honestly, I don't know how the song would have sounded with Polo on it. But yeah, black was the perfect one. Um Ooh, I feel like don't get me wrong, black, like I said, the perfect one, but I feel like a female could have been on this. Like, Ella May or Jane Aiko. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I would be screaming if one of them two was on there, bruh. Oh my goodness. But hey, Black, the purple one for this one though. Oh, God. You know how, like, you just tell a girl, like, yo, chill out, uh, whatever. 
mm-hmm. like even like as far as much as you're doing too much or something along those lines, and it'll be an excuse, an excuse for this or that, or mm-hmm. I got you, and then it'll be the same thing over and over. You, you don't put me through some things that change my aura, just like a negative energy that you just don't want there. No more. You know what I'm saying simple, like. Leave all that toxic, negative energy over there. I don't want that. I don't want that. I'm trying to have a positive, humble, motivated mindset, bro. Keep doing what I'm doing. Like, I don't need your your BS in my way. Simple as that. And, you know, the dog exploring my opinion. Out of here, mother. We'll see what's up next. Like, move, bitch. I'm going to jump out into your as fast as she keep no Florida, bad as she doing for herself, I applaud her. No means, yeah, I'm talking my boo. So please, you know what I'm doing. And it's all because of what you started. I've been told you, you gonna lose. Let me tell you something. For anybody that's just saying, oh, TJ getting soft and he giving an R&B. One, I just say, like, I'm an artist. I'm saying, so I'm trying to put my range from FN to quarter my phone. I ain't trying to play no games, my love. I want to be kind, couldn't fake my love. Earthquake makes some shake, my love. Most of them can't even relate, my love. That's how impactful my shit is. It's like, if earthquake makes some shake, my love. You know, I don't really like to play the game or not being vocal about what it is that you want or don't want. Uh, I had to learn that for myself, too. Used to be gang, oh, now you're not gang. Used to have fun, though, now you got shame. Used to catch flights, but now I'm not playing. Play on words, you love the women, it's the same. So I was just like breakfast. I'm like, I mean, black is just like, he's just like, man, he's going a little too fast. I'm like, I thought you were going to rap like how you were rapping the actual song, but um, it is what it is. First part of the song, uh, something that TJ had already said. I think a lot of my verse too was going back to his verse, pulling from his verse, and bringing it to mine so it could just connect this one. And I would just like click back to his verse, listen to it again, go back to my verse, punch in the next couple lines, go back to his verse, listen to it again, and just bounce back and forth. I ain't trying to play your game no more. No, you can't wear my chain no more. We not a thing, can't take no more. Wait, no, you can't wait some more. I mean, I got the visual um, ATL. My T.I. had snatched his chain back off of Nina. And uh, he was just like, you know, can't wear my chain no more. So, same thing. A lot of that was just playing with bars and playing with, like, different things that I know will make people react to what I'm saying. Cause, yeah, I remember days when I used to adore. Funny how the shit just flipped like a quarter. Get a new thing with Benny in the yard. Get a move swing and be gone by the bar. That was like another little reference to his verse, because in his verse he had a bar about, uh, was it Dorothy Explorer? Funny how the shit just flipped like a quarter. That's self-explanatory, you know, flip a quarter in the air, shit. You never know what side you're going to get. True. When shit going sour, you know, you, you got to really exaggerate how you feel. So get a move swing, I'll be gone by tomorrow, you know. Whatever it's, uh, that moment is, I'll be like, that's how I feel. So I'm going to just say it. <laughs> for fans that want this vibe for me, let me say something. I got some shit for y'all. I got, I got, I got, I got a couple more love songs in the top. Huh. Okay. We gonna have to see. He said he got a couple more love songs. Um, we're gonna have to see. We're gonna probably preview it on uh, Instagram and then wait a few weeks to drop it or he might drop it out of nowhere. Never know. That's just what I'm thinking. But hey, the song is the song is a, the song is a vibe for so relatable to. Like can't go wrong with it, right? And it's number one. Like hey, TJ, keep doing your thing, and take the last same for you. And yeah, it's Manny, and I'm out.